Hi everyone, this is Packbat. I'm doing another uh, Opus Magnum stream. To start things off this week, I'm trying to figure out how... I'm using a suggestion from one of my friends who was watching the last stream that uh, they gave me in between streams. And that was some kind of equivalent to a borosilicate glass or... Um, I mean, in modern times, we mostly use tempered glass, but clear glass that is tougher, less uh, experiences, less thermal expansion, and therefore more suitable for like laboratory use and um, cooking use. And it would make sense that they'd have this kind of thing because they do have like lab burners in Opus Magnum. One of those recipes you make is a uh, lab uh, burner. So this is our first challenge is how do we make uh, some kind of tough glass in this game. I should probably start actually by... making uh by doing some research so I remember hearing you could like click on the browser window here and interact with it, and it's really not working for me. Um, ah, aha! There, there's an option to interact. Okay. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, very low coefficient of thermal expansion, making them resistant to thermal shock. Uh, okay. Okay, so combining together boric oxide, silica sand, soda ash, and alumina. Uh... Size. Okay. Um, fused quartzware. Silicon e. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's. Uh, that's some other kind of glass. Okay. Um, apparently, I can't figure out how to scroll in this inter user interface, so I'm stuck just following around and trying to click on links. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't really explain how it works, unfortunately. So, um... Let's go ahead and hide our research window. Right. Actually, I'm going to call this laboratory glass. I should probably spell it right. 
Okay. Uh, cool. Um, sympathies on the post-vaccination crying, but, um, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I would make something like tempered glass or borosilicate glass where it has better mechanical properties and, I guess, chemical resistance properties. Um... I'm trying to figure out what that would be made out of from the Opus Magnum components. I'm guessing these aren't going to be a part of it. I'm guessing it's just going to be physical matter. So, generally speaking, um, like, compounds made with fire tend to be kind of oily. Compounds made with air... I don't know, they're light. Uh, compounds made with water are, um, are liquidy and, or watery. <laughs> and uh, compounds made with earth tend to be like somewhat pliable, but solid or, or goopy sometimes. Um, like this stuff is a bit flexible. And then these are metals. So sand, sand is like silicon stuff, right? So maybe it's something with like salt and earth, but the earth isn't the part that's connected together. It's the salt part. So if we're doing just salt and earth, like What's, like, the, the physical shape of, like, the, the constituent molecules of sand? Silicon dioxide. Get glass with different properties. You either heat it differently or add stuff. Uh, sand is solid, tiny, tiny rocks. Okay. Right, so... This product is probably going to be effectively the sand that you heat to make the glass. Um, and rocks are kind of a crystalline sort of thing. Heat it until it flows like glass. How? Okay. just not sure. I'm guessing it should be something that's not super complicated. Flows like water, yeah. Hmm. Hexagonal structure. Okay. Okay, so how would we feel about something... So, something... Let me... Let me quick check the preview on that link there. Okay, so, so they're drawing like... A hexagon with stuff sticking out of it. Okay. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Okay. So... What do we think about something kind of maybe... Like this to start? Like, the string of salt means that it's not, like, I'm, like, like, in my head I'm imagining this isn't flexible in the way that, like, a string of earth atoms would be, but fundamentally it is a material like earth. Uh, 
don't don't go too far. Like none of this is actually chemistry. We're just like making up a story to help explain to us why we made it this way. Uh but yeah. Yeah, like looking at that hexagonal structure, I'm sort of imagining something I don't know, maybe like this? I don't know if it should have some air in it or maybe. maybe. Like it's a lot of silicon and oxygen. Right, silicon and oxygen. Maybe it should alternate between air and earth on the bit sticking out? Or maybe just two airs opposite each other. Like, so, like, I feel like this, just kind of intuitively, this kind of feels like it would be a hard object. Let me, let me look to see if there's anything else which has a structure like this in the base game. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff which is, like... I mean, there is some, like, more oxygen because it has a trioxide in it. <sighs> Maybe an air running through the center? But I don't know. I don't know. We could do just, like, a uh, uh, air... Mm. Like the air in a triangle kind of thing. Half. Okay. I mean, that would be... That would be interesting. My, like, my gut says that if we do put it in the center, we should totally link it out some other direction than the air is on the outside. Okay, so there is something in the game where they have like a heavily cross-linked kind of thing with earth atoms and that makes something hard and solid. We could, instead of doing the loop of salt, we could do the loop of earth and add stuff to it. Like add salt sticking out from it in some kind of hexagonal pattern. Although, like, yeah, there is there is stuff with salt in the the base game that is solid. So we can go either way on that. How do we feel about like this thing? The air in the center and This is going to be a tricky puzzle, actually, but, like, whew, yeah, this is going to be tricky. But, um, uh, okay. I mean, beautiful is nice. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of pretty, and also, it feels like it's airier than a lot of the, like, really massive stuff things that uh, are in the base game so so it could be nice from that kind of perspective all right i'm i'm willing to go for this all right let's say this is this is our laboratory glass
So, it's big, so we should probably just go ahead and have all of the components um, as reagents. We could have two salt inputs if we want. Yeah, no, it actually probably would make sense to give the player two salts with which to make this because there's so much salt in the design. Meh. I don't I don't really feel like it. Okay. Okay, so we have No, no, no. I will give them both salts because like if they want to make something super fast, they can they can go wild. Um All right. Okay, so the idea here is the idea here is that we've got a, a kind of stable crystal going on, and it's it's got these bits sticking out, which make it able to link into other things. So, nothing to do but get into it, really. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's have the construction be happening here, arbitrarily. <sighs> no, okay. Okay, I think I want to do this a little bit carefully, because I don't want to accidentally add more of these, these bonds than are supposed to be there. Okay. Okay. So here's how I'm going to do it. This error is going to go... Let me, let me go ahead and double check to see if I have the things I need. Yeah, I just need bonding, unbonding, and calcification. This is... I'm not doing anything fancy here. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. Uh, I I have committed acts of programming in the past. Um I intend to commit further acts of programming in the future. Um, I think the most confusing part of Opus Magnum is just the physicality of it, which is kind of signature in 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 words. There are words here somewhere. Kind of signature in Zachtronic games, because just. I don't know. Um, there's a lot of there. A lot of the games are fundamentally about writing programs. So Okay. Uh 
I have two salts, I don't have to use the same... I, I can just have a dedicated salt that I stick in over on this side. And it doesn't have to be the salt I stick in anywhere else. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Sorry, I'm distracted by the thing I'm doing, oddly enough. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay. Uh. Sea salt is good. <laughs> oh, right, dedicated salt. <sighs> what I mean is, I'm gonna need salt for all of this stuff, and I'm just, I'm gonna have this one salt, its only job is to attach this air to the ring, and then the rest of the salt will be added as this air gets, as the ring gets rotated around this air. Um, so... Okay. Uh, da, da, da. All right. So things are going to. Get... I guess actually I need this. I don't need need it, but I want it so I can stick the earth on the outside here. Um. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Wait. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Oh, okay. I need the air from down here. Ah. Uh, uh, me and my making life complicated for myself. Okay. Um. Hey, JP. Um. Don't worry, uh, yeah, um, yeah, the conceit of this game is super cool, um, okay. Wait, I don't actually want to do that right now. Alright, so I can add the air like that, I can add the earth like that, and I do need to get the salt in here somehow. I, mean, I could add the earth like this instead of instead and then and then the salt could swing in like that Okay. 
Just think about this. The six palm gripper, honestly, the only time I've used it is when I'm chasing cycles. I just, and I don't tend to chase cycles all that hard, and a lot of times I don't even need it to chase cycles, so I just don't use it very much. The advantage of the six palm gripper is that you can grab, rotate, the advantage of all the multi palm grippers is that you can grab, rotate, drop, and one of the other arms is in the position to do the other grabbing you need to do after that cycle. You don't need to swing back. That's the advantage in my eyes. I'm sure people use it for other reasons, but I don't... For now, I'm just making something that works, so I don't really need it to be any kind of amazing revolutionary. Um, okay. Okay, so I need a way to stick salt in as this rotates and I need a way to okay I need a way to get salt in here I mean ideally I think I actually just want to like just like push it in and then the other stuff can come in from the side. Okay. So here's a weird little solution I'm going to use. So arm three is going to put a salt in, and arm four is going to put whatever sticks out in. So, um, right, the first thing we need to load is a earth. So, grab, rotate the right, plus... Damn it, now I have to decide how I want, what order I want to do things. Okay, so... This bond is going to be one of these two bonds. The way I have it lined up, it lines up with this bond going to the upper right. Um... Actually, I think, right, I have it lined up so that, I think the last bond I'm going to add is this one. So this bond I'm adding now must be this one. So let's say I'm rotating the crystal clockwise as I build it, then it's going to be earth, earth, air, earth, earth, air. Okay. Um... Earth, Earth. Air. So earth, earth, 
air. Okay. Earth, earth, air. Yeah, this co okay, so gonna be completely honest, this puzzle's really complicated. Like, the thing that was happening at the be very beginning of the stream is where it starts, but it does end up here. So, it makes more sense if you played it for a long time, but it also makes more sense if you're the kind of person who, like, thinks that way. <coughs> and... Like, I'm not going to tell people to play it who are thinking, you know what, this is just going to make my head spin. Oh, hey, Factorio's cool. I haven't played Factorio in ages. I should pick it up again. Um, okay. Okay. So that was... So there's one salt that comes in for free at the beginning. This is salt. So I had one salt that came in for free at the beginning. So earth, salt. So it was salt. So it was... Salt earth, salt earth, salt air, salt earth, and salt earth. Um, Salt earth, salt earth, salt air, salt earth, salt earth, salt air. Okay. So... This is an earth. Wait. Earth. Earth. Air. Arm 4 can just repeat this whole mess and give me a headache trying to figure out where all the timing is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Factorio, this game, um, Space Cam, probably Infinifactory, I've never played it. There's a lot of games... I've had a lot of practice. I've played through, like, a lot of the game. So, like, had a lot. This I hate. I hate that I'm doing this to myself, but I'm doing it to myself because it just makes sense. Okay. Um. Right. Okay. Boop. This instruction is when uh, that uh, is when that earth drops off. I think it's going to be the same as...
So at this point is the exit. And I need this line to end up here. Oh! Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know exactly where you are, uh, Heart of Aquamarine. Um, yeah. That's, like... That's almost at the very end of the plot. Um, I'm not going to try to, like, uh, tell you how to solve it or anything like that. That's not what this stream is for. But, yeah. No, you're close to the end. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry. I just... You put a problem in front of me and I want to solve it. It's, 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 it's a problem. Um, okay. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. If I rotate this counter... If I spin this counterclockwise twice, then this one will end up here. And then I rotate it, and it ends up here, which gives me the bond that I want. So I want to go ping, ping, return. I use the same concept of, like... Rotate the thing and add atoms to it as you rotate. Oh, well, that's just rude, game. You didn't have to do that. You... you... Fine, okay. Let, let's see if the super lazy solution works. Just move that a little bit farther out of the way. Okay. Sorry. I was feeling so brilliant. <laughs> I was feeling so brilliant. Um, okay. I'm gonna see if I can do it the, 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 the... I'm gonna see if I can, if I can fix this with one change. And that is going to be take all these pivots and pivot the other way. I'm gonna see if that works. Yes! Okay. 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 <sighs> this is one of those spinny solutions. Laboratory glass. Woot. So, uh, uh, for the people on YouTube, I'm changing up how I'm doing this. I'm going to cut each segment at the end of each product, each solution, and then start up a new segment for the next solution. <laughs> 